Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be having a Halloween DIY for you all. And I know it's kind of last minute since this video is being uploaded on Halloween, but sometimes over the Halloween weekend you do have some parties to go to. And I know when I went to some Halloween parties we had to do a pumpkin decorating contest. So, I have some really cute pumpkin DIYs I want to show you. My mom went out and bought some chalkboard paint and here are some of the pumpkins I made. This one isn't the good one, this was kind of the trial. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys how I painted these pumpkins, or one like this, with chalkboard paint and then embellished it with like writing or stickers. This one's just black with the stickers and the spider web. This one's my favorite because it's a lot shinier since I used more coats. And I put some spiders and boo on it. Like, how cute is that for Halloween? And you can have this out like all year. Like I know pumpkins are just a regular thing or like a Halloween time thing, but I think this could be really cute. So, make sure you guys keep on watching for what you'll need for this DIY, and I hope this goes well, and let's get started! For this DIY, you'll need a paintbrush that came with the kit, um, some chalkboard paint or any colored paint, if you're not doing a chalkboard pumpkin, a small pumpkin or a big one, I just have a little bit of paint left. I also have some chalk and some spider stickers that I have used on my other pumpkins, and then in the back there are some gold thumbtacks that you can stick around the pumpkin to make it really cool and edgy. So I'm just going to paint my pumpkin. I already started a little bit and I will show you guys once I'm finished and then we'll let it dry and then we'll come back and decorate it. Just keep going all around, add some more paint, do however dark or light you want it and I just got paint everywhere. Oopsie. Keep going. Yay. Alright, so I just finished painting a quick black thin layer on my pumpkin. We were kind of running out of the paint towards the end so it's probably the only layer I will do. Um, I'm going to leave it here to dry on newspaper or magazines for about a uh, half hour to an hour and a half. And I will let you guys know once I start decorating it. So, yay, there it is. Alright, so I let my pumpkin dry for roughly about an hour. And it's pretty clear I touched it all over. There still might be a couple spots towards the top and the bottom. But I think it's alright. And now I'm just going to stick some of the golden thumbtacks around the pumpkin. I already did three, two on like either end. I'm going to like cut the pumpkin in a quarter, like two quarters basically, so two halves, and stick them in. I also used some white chalk so I could get like a better like reading on where it was, and that's another great thing about chalkboard paint. You can like outline your um, design first. So I'm going to stick some of these in around the side, and I think I might do some writing on it. I don't know. I'll let you guys keep updated, but the thumbtacks are actually going in a lot easier than I expected them to be. You'd probably always get like a little mallet if you wanted it to. And then you can always just like rub off the uh, the chalk because it works. Um, I think I'm gonna do like just kind of around like a semicircle. I think that will look really cute in the end. And we'll put one here, and then I'll need two, one more. And I think I'm gonna write um just Halloween on it, or I don't know, maybe just Halloween. Oh, okay, we got the last one in. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can really see it. But I might go back in and add some more. But I think the studs actually look really cool. And it kind of looks kind of edgy. And I really like it. So I'm just going to grab my white chalk now. Here it is. We actually broke it in half in the time we were filming this video. And I think I'm just going to write Halloween on it. So let's get started. What about moments with Maddie? Should we do Maddie's moment? Yeah. Twitter? All right, let's do that. Let me get my eraser out, which is AKA my hand. The level of concentration right now. <laughs> you also have to be careful because the chalkboard paint is kind of delicate, so you can't do it too hard. Like, I just chipped it writing Maddie. Ooh, I cannot write S's. That E dough. <laughs> yeah, really rich. <laughs> Let's try can we do we think we can do the at symbol? Let's try. <laughs> How cute does that look? Can you zoom in? Does it actually show up? Okay. So see that's another great thing about customized like the chalk uh, chalkboard paint. 
not the chocolate paint, I wish. Um, you can customize it to yourself. Yay, that's so cute. So that's it for my Halloween special. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know if you guys use it this weekend. Um, I know it's kind of last minute DIY, but I thought it'd be super cute. I love you all so much. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Thanks so much to Caroline for filming. If you guys do this, let me know in the comments below what you guys wrote on your pumpkin. Um, and subscribe for new videos every week. I love you all so much, and I hope you enjoy this one with Maddie. Bye, guys.